Welcome to another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, October 7th, 2015, and let's get to it. There was one conspicuous absence from this year's Men's Physique Olympia stage, and that was former champion Mark Anthony. This season marked the first time in three years that we didn't see Anthony step on stage to compete at the biggest event in the sport. But that doesn't mean the first Olympia champ hasn't been keeping up appearances. Earlier this week, Anthony released some new photos showing shades of the physique that was once considered to be amongst the best in the world. The men's physique division has certainly shifted over the last few years, leaving Anthony fighting to keep up with the pack. But with the advent of the new classic physique division, we might begin to see things shift in the other direction, which could mean a return to the top for the former face of the men's physique division. Although we didn't see her take the Olympia stage for the first time in two years, Dana Lynn Bailey is certainly still making her presence felt. This weekend, Bailey released some candid arm training footage from inside her Warhouse gym, where we see the women's physique rock star hammering out heavy sets of barbell curls. While it was a very controversial move to skip this year's Miss Olympia, it's interesting to speculate whether or not Bailey's competitive career has reached its peak, or if she has a second act up her sleeve that's going to blow us all away. You'd be hard pressed to find an amateur athlete anywhere in the world who's been blessed with more genetic gifts than Canadian super freak Hassan Jama. Earlier this year, Jama brought in his best look ever to the Canadian Nationals, but didn't have enough to secure the win in the super heavyweight class. After taking some time to regroup and reload, the man better known as Stunna is back on his horse, and this time he's out for blood. Jama released some new photos this week showing off a terrifying combination of size, shape, and conditioning. If Jama figures out how to hit the stage full and hard instead of ending up flat and over dieted from chasing that uber shredded look, watch out. This guy is dangerous. It's been a while since we've heard anything from women's physique pro Natalie Falk. Earlier this season, Falk brought what was arguably her best look ever into Columbus, Ohio for the Arnold Classic, where she finished 11th in a deep class of talented competitors. But now the lovely and talented Miss Falk is ready to hit the stage once again seven weeks from now at the Ferrigno Legacy Classic. Late last week, Falk released a few progress photos showing off the classic lines that have made her famous. When she's on, Falk is one tough competitor to deal with, but she needs to be careful about missing her mark. At 100%, she can be deadly to the competition. Remember the popular History Channel show, Monster Quest? It was really entertaining while it lasted, but the show always had one fatal flaw. They never found anything. But that's probably just because they didn't know where to look. Over the weekend, Muscle in the Morning crew discovered evidence that monsters do in fact exist, right here under our noses. Photos surfaced of an absolutely monstrous looking Justin Compton, holding dumbbells so big they look like they could be hinges that hold up the Earth's front door. During his last offseason, Compton managed to tip the scales at nearly 300 pounds, and this year he looks to be well on his way back to the land of three bills plus already. With so much time to go before we get a chance to see him again, the thought of what sort of look he's going to roll out next time around is pretty damn scary. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passion. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.